bottom. And like he recorded in his room, slept on a couch for a year, and then he got signed. It's the perfect dream. His diversity. And his peace, love, and positivity. Yeah, he's really diverse. He's music for everyone. I just like how he has like his track beats and he can do miracles. His lyricism. It's just awesome. I like his lyrics too. It's so like intellectual. He keeps it real. I appreciate it about him. I appreciate that about him. Not a lot, not a lot of people out here doing real music that, that love the art form and everything. I, I think he, he, he really into music. I appreciate that about him. His eyes. Thanks. <laughs> Submissions. So I don't take them like um, electronically. I remember when I was touring with Cuddy, um, like this is the kind of scenario. Like I'll go out on stage and there'll be some kid who's just like, you know, logic, oh man, like check me out, I rap. And I can just see him through the crowd and he's just like, oh, like you know, holding up his demo or whatever. And of course, I, you know, I got, I got to take it. How does he have to like get in his mode to come up with the lyrics? Production, I think, is a, is definitely comes into play. You know what I mean? Like uh, with my producer Six, you know, we'll sit down, we'll get out ideas. Sometimes I produce my own, you know, my own stuff. Um, definitely sitting down with, you know, no ID and just coming up with crazy concepts or ideas. Or, honestly, like it could be hour-long conversations, day-long conversations that turn into one song or even one line. You know what I mean? So it just it, it, yeah, it varies. So what is the change been like since since you started to where you are now? Like, how much of a change has happened, and like, what's been the greatest thing about I guess blowing up so far? It's been incredible. It's crazy. I mean, when I started, I was, you know what I'm saying, broke. <laughs> I didn't really have anywhere to live. You know what I mean? Dead end job. Like, it was terrible. But I think just through perseverance and wanting success more than my next breath, it's allowed me to kind of get here which is awesome, you know, and I love it. But one thing I've noticed along the way is that, like, no matter what you do, you can't please everybody. And I actually just wrote this, this line that's for the album, so exclusive, but it goes, uh, haters gonna hate, man, they've been destined to do that. I could find a cure for cancer and people would still do that, which is the truth. After all your hardships through your life, your young life, what really motivated you to become a rapper? It's funny. Because I never sat down and was like, I want to be a rapper. I just started rapping just to, to get out my ideas and, and, and my thoughts and because I didn't really have anybody to speak to. So it was more like therapeutic. But I think when I was around 20 years old, I realized, um, you know, you can put your all into somebody, into a person, but you're not guaranteed to get that back, all the love and time and effort and years that you put into a person. But I began noticing that the more that I put into my craft, and the more that I put into my work, I get it back. And I think that's why I sacrifice so much to do this. Yo, what's up, y'all? This is Logic here with Ski Live TV all day, 10 p.m. Eastern Pacific. Swag, rap out. You ready, Logic? I am ready. All right, you got a lot of fans, so you better go through these quick, okay, otherwise no, some of them no are going to be mad at you. All right, so Sean and Y Buns wants to know, how do your friends address you, Logic or Sir Robert? Let's start with the box. You get the Ewing Athletic Footwear, old school box. You gotta love that shot, <laughs> Patrick. Right? It's pretty funny. Anyways, uh, Ewing 33 high.